What's going on guys, it's Shisha Tifo back again with another video Today we're going to take a look at the Sennheiser GSX 1000 Gaming Amplifier This is a expensive gaming amplifier I'll show you what it's like, tell you a bit about it And we'll see if it's something that you should pick up or not USB port, a headphone port, a speaker port, and a microphone port if you want to connect microphones to it. This also has a button you can press on it that lets you hear the audio. So if you're talking to someone in chat, you can hear yourself talking, which is quite good. And it had four presets on each corner that you can change, but in my experience, they're very easy to press, so you need to be very careful with that, guys. It has a rotating mm, rotating knob at the top that lets you turn it to change the volume up or down. So yeah guys, I'll show you I'll show you a plug then show you what it does and we'll take a look at this thing. If you can notice guys, it has been dimmed down or put on standby so to wake this up you would get your hand and you would move your hand over it. As you can see it has just been turned on. And you can see the four red rectangles lighting up. These are your presets that you can choose for the unit. And you can have as much reverb as you want. It's like, what I like about this is that it's called driverless nature. What this is, is that you don't have any drivers, not to install anything. You just pick it up, plug it in, and you're good to go. But what is amazing about this is that it works on Mac too. I haven't tried it because I don't own a Mac, but so, me using it on Windows, I've really been quite happy with this product. For the price of it, it is over 200 bucks, but I paid in the UK $200. I will put a link down below for Amazon US and UK for it. But you really think when you don't have it that, oh, should I fork this out? Do I need it? Is it worth it? But once you have it, I can honestly say it's totally worth your money. You don't think you need it because you don't have it, but once you have it, you think, I can't live without it. Guys, it really is something good. It can give it can give you a lot of bass if you need bass. If you don't want bass, it can take away bass. But what is the selling point of this? Is when you stick headphones in, it can make a crappy pair of headphones sound decent, right? But if you use it with other headphones, like I use it with a pair of uh, Dr. Dre Beats. And what can I say? It's got something special. 7.1 surround sound What does that mean guys? So basically when you stick a headset on in ear over the ear you hear it from the left and right But the front and back you don't have anything there So it makes you feel like you're hearing sound from the front or back So when I'm playing GTA 5 I can hear the sound all around me guys It just amplifies the sound to the front and back also the left and right so you can you're not just having audio from the left and right you feel like you're in the car you're actually driving the car the people are actually around you guys it's really good and you can set it to a gaming mode so like there's less bass and it's just like more echo so you feel like you're in the street and you're in the game or you can set it to a movie mode which means when you're watching films there's a bit more bass to it and it just feels like you're in a cinema and also then when you set it to music you get a lot a lot of bass the music gaming the music and gaming preset and the movie preset are all there when you're using speakers but when using headphones that's when you get 7.1 sound would i recommend this yes i expected it to i didn't expect it to be as good as it actually turned out to be right i am no file expert on music but or sound expert but what I do know guys is this is really good for what you're paying also when before I bought it I was like 200 pounds do I really want to fork this out but once I have it I'm like it should be priced higher which is stupid I'm saying but I really think it should have been priced higher it's like something you would pay 500 pounds for 600 dollars well you know it's really good it's just this, this driverless nature that I'm talking about that really sets it apart 
like okay I like to play about with my EQ and stuff and I like to enhance it to pinpoint what I like but out of the box everything you have in this is good and I'm going to continue using this because it's small, compact, you can take it places, it does walk the bigger one roughly do, you just can't tweak it as much because it's all preset guys but I uh, don't think it's anything worth looking over guys it's really really good it is the Sennheiser GSX 1000 audio amplifier it will take your audio to the next level having good audio equipment good headphones earphones good speakers this can take that to the next next level it is something that I'm going to continue to use and keep in my setup guys I really do enjoy this so yeah guys this has been a look at the GSX 1000 by Sennheiser let's give a wrap it up do I think you should get this totally guys if you can fork it out get it you might not think it's worth what you're forking out for but once you have it it is really good it will take your audio to the next level guys so yeah this is Shakalifa and I am out here. Yeah.